Hi guys, I just wanted to show you um, some of my workflow and how I edit images. And today I wanted to um, just give you a preview a little bit of um, my face pop uh, brush, adjustment brush in Lightroom, which can also be used as a radial filter. And why I use it um, to um, bring out my subjects and make the image pop. Here we've got a portrait which I shot at a recent wedding. And it's a little bit underexposed, but that's the way I like to shoot uh, with my Nikon D750. I like to preserve the highlights and bring out the shadows later. And that way I'm maximizing the dynamic range. So to start with, it's a little bit cold, uh, the white balance. So I'm just going to warm it up a little bit to around 7,200 maybe, something like that. And now you can see that they are underexposed and that's okay because we're going to bring them out with the radio filter or the adjustment brush, both do the same thing. And I've got my face pop brush here. I, uh, before I proceed with anything else, I apply one of my Lightroom presets and uh, currently one of my most favorite ones is the F1 film preset which is available from my website. Um, so. There we go. Already the image is starting to look nice. There's a good amount of pop in the image. And the next step would be to use the face pop radio filter or the brush. I normally use the radio filter because it's just quicker and it gives them a nice gradient. I like to feather it to about 50% there or 50 points and just drag like that around the couple. And look at that, instantly brings them out, makes them pop. Now you can adjust the size of it and watch their faces when you do that. Because you want to make sure that their faces are nice and bright. You can adjust it sideways as well. So, pretty much done. I mean, if you wanted to further bring them out a little more, you could go to the brush setting and on low opacity. Uh, you could continue to brighten their faces even further. Done. I mean, it, that took seconds, a minute or two, let's say, uh, and the image is done. Uh, if you wanted to play around with the white balance a little more, you could do that and warm it up a little more if you like your images warmer. Um, so there you go. This is how I like to edit. It's quick and efficient and when you're dealing with several thousand images from a wedding, it certainly helps um, to make your workflow faster. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, the brush is available for um, not a lot of money, only uh, $10 from my website. If you want to grab it, it really helps with editing. Have a great day guys.